Hey guys, Jason here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a 3D relief of the Marine Corps logo or EGA, the Eagle Globe and Anchor. And we're going to do this with Basic Maker. I'm going to start a new model. When I start my new project, go to Bitmap, and I'm just going to import an image of the Marine Corps EGA. And when the image comes in, we're going to use our Bitmap to Vector tool to vectorize this. So I go to my Bitmap to Vector tool. I'm going to reduce the colors in this. I got this picture of the EGA by Googling EGA, and it was like the third one that I found. Reduce the number of colors, and I'm going to bring this down to five colors. The black, red, blue, white, and yellow. Press apply, and I'm just going to use the black colors. I have my speckle size set to 20 pixels and my smoothness to 100. I've increased this speckle size, and the reason I did that is because the way the bitmap to vector tool works is, is it looks at each pixel and then tries to make a vector based on the pixel count. By using a slightly larger pixel count, it will skip over any errand pixels or any like one or two pixels that may be out of place. This way, it takes 20 pixels to make up a spot that it actually will draw a line. This will help us create a smoother relief going to create my vectors. Go to the 3D view to see our vectors. Turn on the display material and it looks like we've got the rope and we got the EGA. Eagle needs some work connecting here but this looks pretty good. We didn't get all the rest of it. Let's get the rest of that in just a second. But first I want to move these vectors to a different layer. I'm just going to select the inner part of the EGA here. Right click it and I move these vectors to a new layer. If I go over here to my vector drop down, I've created this new layer. I'm going to call this new layer EGA. I can turn that layer off. I'm going to select this rope, move it to a new layer. We'll call this new layer rope. Let's turn off our rope layer. Go back to our 2D image. And now I'm going to try and use the white to create the vectors. Let's go back to our 3D view. Get rid of the rope and we can get rid of all of the EGA stuff because we already got that. And now we've gotten all the other parts of our EGA. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of the rings. I'm holding shift and I'm just gonna click on these rings. And I'm gonna move these vectors to a new layer. Call this layer rings and apply. Let's turn off that layer to get rid of them. This makes it easier to just highlight the parts that you want. And then you don't have to fight all that other stuff. And move this to a new layer. And let's just call it text. Let's just turn on all of our layers. And now we have a vectorized image of our EGA. And we're ready to create our 3D relief. In order to do this in regular Maker, because we don't have any of the 3D tools, we're going to have to sort of use a trick. The first thing we're going to do is open up our Relief Clip Art Library. And then once that opens up, come down and I'm looking for Sign Base. This Sign Base, Sign Base 28. I'm just going to pull this out here. Make this Sign Base larger than my material. The corners of this sign are twice as thick as the base of this sign. I just know this from using this before. So whatever thickness we put in will be the thickness of the corners and half of that thickness will be the thickness of the middle part, which is what we're actually gonna. I'm gonna put in one inch. When I paste this down, it's actually gonna be a half inch. I've made this larger than my actual material. Corners and everything's gonna get cut off. I press paste and it pasted that down. We're gonna get rid of this vector. And we're going to close our Relief Clip Art Library. Right now, we pasted that material down. If you could see my cursor information, it says it's 0.49998 inches of material. Now, that material is covering the whole piece, so it doesn't look like anything. But there is a half-inch piece of material now on our material plane. I'm going to turn off everything but this EGA. First, I need to fix this eagle real quick. The vectors in this part of the wing did not connect. And I just want to connect those. So I'm going to do a little node editing real quick. Press N to bring up our node editor. Press I to insert a node. And then C to cut that node. I to insert a node. And C to cut that node. And then I'm going to delete that part of the vector. C cut this. And C cut this. Close this vector with a smooth curve. And I'm going to close this vector with a curve. And then we can use our Bezier curve wings to make this look right kind of match the other side. Okay, right, now that we fixed that EGA, I'm gonna highlight the outside border of this EGA. If I hold this down, select our display bitmap, we can see that this, this part is actually cut out. 
we have a few more places that are cut out. Now we have just the edges or the border of that selected. I'm going to go to zero outside of vector and when I click the zero outside of vector it cut all the material away from the edges of the borders of that EGA and gave us our cutout. Now what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of the vectors and we're going to use our scale relief tool. Press selected vector. Let's turn off those vectors so we don't have to see them and we're going to grab the little red arrow. I'm just going to pull down to take all that little bit of detail and we're going to kind of recess that and give the rest of it some height. And you can play with it and give it as much as you like. That looks pretty good. Press apply. Now to smooth this over so it's not all sharp, we're going to use our smooth relief tool and we're going to go ahead and use the whole relief. And this is looking pretty good. We may have went a little too much. Back off of that some. All right, we press apply. And now we have our centerpiece for our EGA. Now I'm going to show you how to improve this a little bit better. Let's say that you wanted to give individual pieces a little bit different height. We can go to our scale relief tool and scale just these pieces. You have to select selected vector and then we can move just these parts and give our continents a little bit extra height. Press apply and you can give depth to different details in your relief. Okay. Okay, now that we have our EGA made, we need to make the rest of our components. Go to File and Save As. I want to navigate to Document, Carvico, and this is in Projects. But if I go to Reliefs, and then I pick or make a folder in my Reliefs folder, I'm going to pick Characters. And I'm just going to save EGA1. It's a Carvico model.art file. And I'm saving it in Documents, Carvico Reliefs Char Characters is a file that I made inside of the Reliefs. And when I save this, if we go back to our Relief Clip Art Library and I go Characters, I now have this EGA that I just made in my Relief Clip Art Library. Our next step is to make the rest of the EGA and we're going to have to repeat our first step to build each component and then we're going to put them all together in the end. Go up here and press our reset relief button and get rid of our relief. We have it saved over here and that's fine for now. Turn off our EGA layer. Go back to those sign bases and bring in another sign base. Going to make it large. Apply. Let's bring in our rope. We do the same thing. We're going to take our outside borders, zero outside of relief to give us our rope texture. Use selected vector, highlight all the vectors. We then give our rope our detail that we're looking for. And you just do that by pulling this up or down to give that the look you're looking for. Now with the rope, I would do it this way and press apply. Let's go back to our smooth relief tool and we can smooth the entire relief and we'll just smooth that down. Let's smooth it way down. Let's go 100% see what that looks like. That blended it down a lot better. Go to file, save as. We're in documents, Carvico, reliefs, characters, and I'm just going to call this one rope and save and repeat the process for the text and the rings as well. Reset the relief, bring our sign base back in, let's turn off our rope vector, let's bring up our rings. Let's try to do the rings and the text at the same time, see if we can get them all at once with this. Okay, I'm just going to select the inner ring and the outer ring, zero inside and outside of that. Let's try and highlight all of our rings. Go to scale relief, selected vector, and let's just bring that down. Let's make it an even 0.25. Press apply and close that. You can do a very light smoothing over of this. Just the letters need to sort of be sharp. I wouldn't smooth it over too much, but I would a little bit to get rid of some of the sharp edges. I'm gonna press our save as, and we'll call this one text. I've reset all my reliefs and I'm ready to put everything together. We're gonna need one last base for everything to sit on. And I'm just gonna make this one a half inch. And then if I go back to my characters, now I can bring in each one of my components. Bring in our EGA, press F9 to center it and paste it down. Let's bring in our text, F9 to center it, paste it down. And let's bring in our rope, F9 to center it, and let's paste it down. Can close this. Let me delete these imported vectors. 
Let's turn on our vectors from over here because these are a little more accurate. And if I select this outside rope vector, zero outside of that vector, it's going to get rid of that quarter inch of material that was outside of our plaque. And then I can also use that to scale our entire relief. So we can make this relief now three quarter inch. And then we'd be ready to send this to our machine and get it cut out. Using this trick, you can make some pretty cool 3D reliefs. If you find this valuable, please subscribe to the channel. Give us a like. It lets us know we're doing okay. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.